So, three ways that I got my power back in being a nurse. When I talk about getting my power back, I'm talking about freedom from the three-day-a-week holiday weekend rain, sleet, or snow lifestyle. And this video is not to pull you away from the bedside because a lot of people are needed at the bedside. We need our nurses that are strong, intuitive, and caring bedside nurses. I would never ever want to pull nurses from the bedside in the hospitals and say, don't care about these patients because ultimately what we do is all about the patient. And I think that's the biggest contribution that I have of why I'm sharing this video. So three ways I took my power back. Number one, I saw myself as a business. Understand this, every bed you turn, every admission and every discharge, a hospital could possibly make $10,000 that day. And guess what you're doing? Your computer and your mouse is like a little cash register and you're clicking, click, 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 click. And every click that you make is an assessment that cannot be done without a license and that's a registered nurse's license that assessment no one in america can read it and understand it besides a nurse it's a specific skill that is taught over years and experience so understand that every click you make is a business is a is a transaction that is going to be built number two i became an expert when in your first few years of nursing, just professional nursing, you are gathering so much information and so much expertise. We will call it expertise because without the experience, you will not be able to transmute that experience into a whole nother field. So for example, my first year out of school, I was blessed to become a dialysis nurse. I learned every aspect of dialysis. I learned peritoneal dialysis. I learned hemo. So I went to the jails. I traveled. I ran the peritoneal dialysis clinic. I learned the business. I got under the business owner. I will always be grateful for my ex-best friend, my ex-friend from nursing school, named Maria. Her mom owned the largest dialysis company, that home dialysis company in Texas. And I was so lucky that her mom took me under her wing and she showed me everything she was doing in her business to become successful. So I was lucky because I saw two aspects of nursing. I saw the work of nursing and then I saw the business of nursing. And this is what changed my mind about what my potential was as a nurse. So I took the safety out of it and I became a powerhouse. In removing your safety net, you challenge yourself and you climb higher. So years later, I'm a mother. I've done dialysis. I've moved around. Now I'm at St. Luke's. I'm working on Nine Tower. If you know Nine Tower, you know Nine Tower. Nine Tower is not to be played with. Nine Tower is a beast. Nine Tower is the dump of every patient in the ER that does not fit cancer, liver disease, heart attack, stroke. So we're taking care of everybody, surgical, dialysis, fluid overload, alcoholism, psychiatric, so I'm in there, I'm learning, I'm out here. And during that time, like I took it very seriously, although I'm the cool kid. How did I remove my safety net? Well, here I am five years into the game and my baby daddy says, Adrian, you're working your butt off. You're tired and you don't have time for our kid. So why don't you come work for me? And I did not want to go work for him because he, first of all, he got on my nerves. I mean, we were on and off again, but I was just like, you know, 
I went to the office, I checked it out. It's a small place, real easy breezy. And I quit my job at St. Luke's. Most people were like, are you out of your mind? I'm like, listen, we're gonna, I'm gonna do this. So I quit my job and became the director of nursing at Featherland Hospice. Biggest challenge in my life, but I learned so much from this change. I met so many people. During the time of running the, the hospice company, I met friends, black women, who were able to run businesses and open businesses. So during this time, I'm meeting people who are opening hospice agencies. So I'm like, hey, let me join in. Hey, Adrian, can you be D-O-N of this company? We'll give you a thousand bucks. Just be D-O-N. Okay, cool. Adrian, why don't you learn how to do surveying with the state and the and the, the government to accredit these hospice agencies? Okay, cool. Adrian, learn OASIS, learn administrative tasks, learn how to keep these companies running, learn how to get Medicare numbers and Medicaid and private insurance information. Still, I still don't know everything because I'm not detailed at all. I said I'll let to say that I took a chance. I took a chance on myself. I took a chance on learning new things and I expanded my horizons. Um, going back to the hospital, it after all of these things, I would talk to my friends and be like, why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Like, why, you know, whatever. And they'd be like, well, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm over here. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. they like, I, I couldn't do that. That's way too much. It's not too much. It's too safe for you to be sitting on a computer, clicking away, making somebody $10,000 a day. Okay, because please believe when a patient get their bill from the hospital, it's not no chump change. It's not $50 an hour that you made. It's some real money. With freedom comes failure. So, how did my failures make me a better nurse? I remember working in dialysis. I was working with a guy who had been on dialysis for long time and I was trying to explain something to him and I did not know what I was talking about but they teach us to fake confidence so fake your con fake like you know it you didn't go back and learn it because doctors do the same thing so you need to be confident right so I'm teaching a guy and the guy told me he said don't explain something to me that you don't know you don't know what you're talking about so don't try to explain it to me that taught me a lot. This was me as a new nurse, not knowing what I'm doing, but learning dialysis. Not being a nurse first and then specializing. No, I'm going to be a new nurse straight out of school and learn dialysis at the same time. Don't know what I'm doing in my house by in the house by myself with a guy doing a procedure, trying to talk to him about whatever. I don't even know what I was talking about. And he was like, don't tell me something you don't know about. I'm telling you, that thing made me realize, okay, I'm going to go learn with what I'm going to. And next time anybody ever asks me a question about this one thing, I'm going to know the answer. I said all to say, the reason why I can work on my own schedule, make the money I want to make, live my life free, is because... I learn through failure. So I'm not coming to you at this point in the video. I'm not coming to you telling you that I have arrived. I have not arrived. But every patient I encounter, I'm making huge differences in their life. Because I've been through huge changes in diverse situations that allow for me to look at a patient, determine they need, go over and beyond. See, some of us, we don't even, you working at the bedside, but you don't even want, you don't even go over and beyond for your patient. How many patients have come home from the hospital and come to home health and hospice and they sick of y'all? They sick of y'all bedside nurses. 
I'm telling you. They be like, I hate the hospital. They don't know. They don't want to go back. Who with them? Y'all with them. Okay, Adrian, calm down. <laughs> but it's real. So, take a chance. Fail. Get out of your comfort zone. It's time to go into destiny. If you have a business idea, start learning it. Take a chance. Get out of that monotonous situation. Stay at the bedside, but have something to look forward to. When you going back to work, you got a pep in your step. You're willing to go the extra mile for this patient who needs extra special assistance because you know in the back of your head, you like, I got something greater behind me or something greater that pushed me through this door. And now I'm, a, I'm in destiny. And destiny is medical allure. Medical allure is my destiny project. And I'm going to be obedient. I'm going to do what I have to do. I'm going to not be shy. And I'm going to come on here. Thank you so much for joining me. We got a little crazy today. But, like, I'm serious. Like, let's, let's make this thing big. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share this video to your nurse friend. Tell them Adrian owns medical allure she got some cute little shirts online go get one support her business i love y'all uh thank you for listening to me and www.medicalallure.com i got the um like the pictures from the networking event coming up like i wanted that networking event to be so big and it was great and i enjoyed it and it was also a faith move. And it's more coming soon. It's your girl, Adrian, your favorite nurse of medical allure.